Welcome back. Joining us virtually today are our friends over at Moncus Park. Abby joins us over there under the beautiful, huge oak trees. Abby, thank you so much for joining us. We're talking today about these live oaks. So what can you tell our viewers? Sure. First of all, hey, thank you for having us. Um, we are under the gorgeous live oaks at Moncus Park. Right now we're under the Blakewood Oaks, named after Griff Blakewood, uh, Professor UL, that I also had the honor of participating in one Aww. of his classes. Wonderful, wonderful guy, yes. Um, and it just so happens that we just finished a project to inventory the trees in our park. And we are currently looking at the largest tree in the entire Moncus Park. Really? So one of the Blakewood Oaks, yes. This guy is 75 inches diameter breast height and so what that means is if you took a cross section of this trunk right here at about my shoulder height it would be the same as a six foot three inch tall person laying head to toe oh my goodness trunk. yes it's amazing that's a pretty rare thing um so of course we're looking at a live oak that's the species um and i think one thing that we wanted to touch on with you guys today is just how important it is yeah. to have an asset like this in the park so we have a bunch of gorgeous trees. We have a bunch of gorgeous heritage oaks. But the important thing about these huge trees is the big impact that we've all heard about environmental, social, economic impacts of trees, how exponentially more important they are when they get to this size. And yeah. that's something you can't buy, you can't, you can't plant it and get it tomorrow. It's, it's a big deal. So we want to show it off. And these trees are absolutely, they're gorgeous. If you just like, even yeah. walking under them at the park, I'm sure so many families enjoy having a picnic under them, just hanging out. You guys just missed some two adorable dogs at that picnic table oh. behind me. Oh and my I know gosh. you guys aren't here, but it's literally, uh, it feels so good right now. It's the middle of the day and you can feel the wind under the trees. The transpiration makes it literally cooler than if I stepped out from one of the campus. Absolutely. And, and Abby, you were saying these trees are, are so important because it's really hard to have an asset like this in the community. People can go walk up and enjoy. And you were saying it takes years and years and years for these trees to get this big. Why yeah. do you think personally that it's so amazing that Moncus Park kind of did what they could to preserve these historic trees? I can't say, I mean, I can only say personally how incredible it is to have a tree of this age, this size, at this point in a city, right? Yeah. So we're in the heart of Lafayette. There's development everywhere. There's Johnson Street on this side. There's neighborhoods around us. Um, you don't get a tree like this unless you preserve it, right? Yeah. If you would have put a street right next to it, it wouldn't be the health it is today. It might not be here today. So it's it's just something that I think that we appreciate that we inherited and we're just trying to take care of it the best we can as well. I love that you guys are doing what you can to preserve these historic trees. Abby, thank you so much for joining us and sharing this with our viewers today. Thank y'all so much for having us. Of course. If you at home want to learn more about Moncus Park, head to our website, klaf.com. Stay with us. We'll be right back after this.